Get your hands off me! Oh shit! One punch! Hello everybody, welcome to Free to Play Friday. My name's Chris, aka Sparta Chris, and today we're going to play If on a Winter's Night for Travelers. This is some sort of I think spooky or spooky adjacent game that I'm not sure how long it is. Um, so this might end up being a multi-episode deal. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, but what we do on Free to Play Friday is we find a free game on Steam or elsewhere and we play it. Let's do that. That thing I just said. Let's do that. February 1921. 1929. Why did I say that? Somewhere in Central Asia. I said the complete wrong thing. Oh, these graphics are crazy cool. These are fantastic pixel graphics. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love that skeleton dude sitting there. Tell me that's going to be one of our characters. It looks like it. Young man. Is everything all right, young man? You seem agitated. Are you enjoying yourself? Oh, yes, yes, certainly. It is a lovely party indeed. It is, isn't it? Such delightful costumes and the music exquisite. Oh, but where are my manners? My name is Layla. Oh, I'm a female. I'm Carlo. Pleased to meet you, um, sweetie. What is wrong? I guess I should be a little up here. I can tell there's something definitely on, uh, on your mind. Are you looking for somebody? Oh, no, it's just that, um, I know it must sound peculiar, but, um, I can't seem to be able to recall how I got here. What do you mean? Surely you must remember something. Well, I was at this hotel in Rome. That I do remember. Rome! What a beautiful city! Were you on vacation? In no way. I was there to meet with my paramour. I was waiting for him to arrive. The Silent Room. Room! Okay. Ah, beautiful Rome. So glad to see you again. Still as majestic, as decadent, and of course, as loud as ever. Oh well, I'm sure when I'm back in Turin, I guess... Asleep, I mean. What time did Patrick say he would arrive? I'm sure I left his telegram around here somewhere. Okay, so it's a point and click. Ah, here it is. If I get to point and click. My shooting star, thrilled to see you. Please check in at the Grand Rome. Everything taken care of will be around noon. Love, P. He's thrilled to see me, thrilled. Oh my, this is going to be rough. Okay, so, uh... Oh, oh, oh! Okay, so I'm picking my reaction. Uh, we'll say he's thrilled to see me. Okay. Be still, my beating heart. Okay. I should take a quick look in the bathroom mirror. Make sure I look presentable. And also check if room service delivered the flowers I ordered. Everything needs to be perfect. Okay, so I gotta find the bathroom. Secretary. Just drawers. So there's a lot of different stuff here. Where would the bathroom be? Oh, I bet it's here. It's a bathroom. This reminds me of, like, early Monkey Island kind of stuff. Okay, here's the mirror. You lucky, handsome devil, you. You really hit the jackpot this time. What if he's the one? The real one? Having to tell Mum and everything. Okay, you know what? We'll cross that bridge when and if we ever get to it. For now, you just look dashing, young man. Let's look again, just for funsies. Wink. <laughs> okay, what else uh, do we have around here? Sh 
sure these towels cost more than what I make in a month. Well, well, well. Okay, just, uh, I guess we're just gonna do a little exploring here. And that, done that. Can't do anything with the sink. Okay, back to the bedroom. Let's have a look around here and see what we find. Socks, underwear, a couple of shirts. And that Rolex Patrick gave me at the first party we met. I'm sure he would like me to wear it. Sure, put it on. Yeah, so fancy. Okay, what else do we got? We got the bed. So tired from my trip, I just want to take a nap. But Patrick should be here soon. Maybe we can call room service and have breakfast in bed. Maybe we'll do that in a little bit. Um, street. Who even needs an alarm clock with this pandemonium? Thrilled to see me. Thrilled! Alright, let's explore the uh, living quarters. Okay, we got a bar. We've got flowers. A Roman bus. This reminds me of that party. Actually, I don't remember that much about it. Just that there were togas involved. Patrick loves the whole Roman emperor aesthetic. He'll never admit it, but I'm sure it's part of the reason he lives here. Americani. Sorry. Radio. Uh, this place really has everything. I wonder how this works. Uh, let's try it. Oh no, what have I done? Let's turn it off. Oh dear, what a relief. Uh, okay. Missing something. Well, maybe I can put the flowers there? I should move them somewhere where they stand out a bit more. We'll put them on the table over here. Then maybe we'll make ourselves a drink. Uh, we'll put them here. Much better. And here's the card, just as I requested, uh, to my one and only. He's going to love it. Whiskey, gin, vermouth, amaretto, campari, of course, yum. Is that limoncello? Oh shit, what's that? Is that the phone? The door buzzer, Patrick! So I don't even get to make myself a drink. Hello, Patrick? Is this Patrick? Who is this? He's got a mustache. Carlo! Patrick, so happy to see you. Wait, he's supposed to be American, too. Look at you! It's been too long! I've missed you! Me too! I'm so happy you made it all the way here. So, how do you like this place? You mean the room or the city? Both are quite excessive. The room. Pretty fancy, isn't it? Let's say, uh... Do we want to see the painting or the bathtub? Let's say the bathtub, because I didn't even look at the painting. The bathtub there in the bathroom. I can assure you, you've never seen anything like it. I'll take your word for it. Have you seen there's a radio and everything? Did you try to find some music? Oh, it didn't cross my mind, but... Feel free to, uh, if you want. Don't mind if I do. There, isn't that nice? So, how about a drink? We should really make the most of this amazingly equipped bar I see over there. If only in solidarity with my fellow Americans suffering under the grip of the Volstead Act. Uh, maybe I should be doing a more, like, uh, New Yorker kind of accent. You know, the old one. Um, not even noon yet, or coming right up. Yeah, this dude's trying to get, he's trying to get some. Oh, sure, coming right up. That's my Bambino! What the fuck accent was that? That's my Bambino! <laughs> I don't know. I'm just gonna keep talking regular. So, one for Patrick, one for me. I like the music. Salut. Cheers. 
There you go. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, let's point out the flowers first. These flowers are for you. Oh, they are absolutely lovely. And look, they come with a card. To my one and only. Oh, Charlie, Carlo, I need to tell you something. Want to sit down? I'm fine here, thanks. Look, Carlo, we can't keep doing this. I'm sorry. Uh, we would be sad. Why? Don't you like me anymore? Come on, Carlo, you know it's not that. I like you, but this doesn't mean that I... Look, you know just as well as I do that it wasn't meant to last. Don't play dumb now, please. I'm not playing dumb. I truly was starting to believe we were made for each other. And where exactly did you get that idea? Well, in your telegram, for example. I have no idea what you're talking about. Are you the one playing dumb now? Here, let me get it from the other room and I'll show you. You're exhausting, Carlo. I'm gonna sit on this couch like an American man. Look at how my legs are crossed. I'm in sales. Trust me, I'm in sales. Uh, where would it be? Here? Yeah, yeah, that's where it was. Here it is. Thrilled to see me, he said. Undisputable proof that he loves me. My shooting star. I see. How can I be so naive? Thrilled to dump me. That's what he was. Oh, what a bummer. Mm hmm. This poor guy. Your shooting star, of course. Fleeting. A passing glimpse. And then gone. Is that how you justify it to yourself? I'm just some crazy adventure. Or did the deuce put the fear of God into you? It has nothing to do with you. I miss part of that shit. It's just wrong. I'm sorry, Carlo. Uh, here we go. Wrong? How can this be wrong? The only thing that's wrong is having to hide it. But things will get better one day. They have to. They will. Look, I don't expect you to understand. But I have read these articles, these medical journals. Carlo, there are doctors. They can help. They have this new therapy. I'm going to tell my wife everything. I know she'll support me. She and I will go through this together. Discreetly. I know we will be stronger for it in the end. And you should think about it too. I read about this hospital near Turin. In Collegrio. Cal I don't know what that said. Carlo, they can fix you. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, he's a coward. I'm speechless. You're such a coward. I don't know what I ever saw in you. Stupid me. Thinking you can. But no, I'm just a symptom of some illness to you. A boil. A cyst that you can just cut away. Oh, please, Carlo. Cut out the drama. I have a wife. I have children. This is what a man does. Period. Uh, let's see. A man. A snake is what you are. But of course, you are a businessman after all. Called it. You're just maximizing benefit. This enterprise has turned risky, so you walk away. Okay. I don't have to put up with this. Please call room service and order me a taxi cab. Because I'm an American man. I can't do it myself. We're done here. I'm done with you. We're just done. Read the mustache. We're done. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. You really have some nerve. 
If you want a taxi cab, call one yourself. Okay, fine. I'll ask for one at the reception desk then. Watch me walk out of this room. This is what I get for trying to make things easy on a loser like you. Goodbye, Carlo. Go back to Turin. It's over. If you didn't get that from all the earlier things I said when I said we're done. Yeah, that's right. Just walk away. Go back to that wife you don't love and those children you hate. You're worse than sick, Carlo. You are deranged. I'm so sorry for you. Move away. I'm done with you. Get your hands off me! Oh, shit! One punch! Fuck, dude. Damn. Well. That's, uh... Whew, what a way to go there. So, um... What do we do? Shoot. Oh, God! Patrick! Oh, God! Uh... Okay. What do we... Um... Oh, man. Is that the phone, or is it the... Wait, what did that say? What happened? Why am I standing here? I was on my way to the bathroom. I need to wash my face. I need to calm down. Wait a minute. Did he just lose all memory of what happened? Oh god, Patrick, oh god. Yeah. Will it ring again? Oh, look, the I just realized that painting was like a dude killing, murdering somebody else. Oh, man, the uh the foreshadowing. Yeah, let's rinse off. Um, what am I going to do now? Everybody's going to know. Everybody here knows my name. They know who I am. There's no way out. There's no way I can go. Oh, God. There really is no way out, is there? I'm sorry. I never wanted this. Forgive me. Wherever you are, please forgive me. Um. Oh. An envelope. It's an invitation to some kind of masked ball. RSVP not required. So is this is supposed to be a mask? It slithers. Whoa, what? Whoa! Whoa! And next thing you know, I'm here in this train with a drink in my hand. And now, this all feels unreal, like a strange dream, like I shouldn't really be here. Oh dear, what a terrible experience that must have been. I'm not surprised that you're feeling disoriented. Excuse me, I'm so sorry to interrupt. Not at all. What is it, darling? Do you mind if I take a seat? Of course not. Please, go ahead. Thank you so much. What the hell is going on? 
I've been looking all over for my husband, but I cannot find him. I'm quite certain that we were supposed to meet here, yet nobody I speak to seems to have seen him. And what does your husband look like, Mrs... Winterbourne. Valerie Winterbourne. My husband is Henry Winterbourne. Surely you must know him from the papers. Not that it would matter here. But I am confident that if he were around, I would have recognized him already. Do you remember when you last saw him? Of course, it was... This is embarrassing, but I... I am not quite so sure right now. It's all right, dearie. What do you remember then? It was raining. Wow, this is a uh, interesting uh, turn of events here. The slow vanishing of Lady Winterbourne. So, a story of four travelers uh, or something, right? Um, so we've got one. Now we're on the second one here. So maybe we'll do two and two? Oh, I'm, I'm restless. I'm so restless. Yawn, stretch. Oh, put, put our hair up. Okay. Um, have I been sleeping? It's dark. Glass decanter with laudanum. Oh, oh. My medicine keeps the nightmares at bay. But there's not much left. Okay, so she's got some issues. Or she doesn't, and, like, she's being forced to take it for hysteria. No light. It hurts. No. Oh, she's definitely got some, some mental um, issues going on here, I think. These are for tomorrow. Is it tomorrow yet? If I close my eyes, I can almost hear. Huh. Maybe her husband's dead already? Did there used to be faces here? Shh, quiet now. Well, this is odd. How long has it been raining? What day is this? Um, is there a way out? Oh, to hallway. Outside. But it is yesterday. I cannot go outside when it is yesterday. Oh, you you might need your laudanum, girl. Uh, oh, what's this? Ball of yarn. Oh, it's Lord Sox's ball of yarn. He always brings it with him when he sneaks in at bedtime. But where is he? Maybe he got outside in the rain. It's hard to see anything from here. Try this window. I can't see anything. Maybe the servants know something. Okay, now maybe she'll go to the hallway. Okay, so I noticed the, um... I called the one guy a snake, and then I ended up with a mask that said it was slithering. She's looking for her cat, and I noticed that her mask was... It looked like a hairless cat. A sphinx cat, or whatever it's called. So I wonder... There's, like, connections here. Well, hang on. And also... Um... So she should cover up. Okay, now she can get something from the armoire. There was, like, foreshadowing right away in that one. If I would have looked at that painting right off the bat. So I'm wondering if there's something in here that's going to tell me. So, like, she doesn't like mirrors or... Or, no, she can't see faces. And she doesn't like light. So I wonder if that has to do with something. Something with light? I don't know. Being in the dark? What was I doing? I think I forgot. I'm just tired. I haven't slept well. Yes, I just need a bit more rest. Short nap will do me some good, no doubt. But first, my medicine. Oh, wow, she's all over the place. She's very sick. There's so little left. Why hasn't the maid replenished it yet? Oh, what was that? 
Huh. A letter from Lord Cavendish. What could he possibly want? Sorry for your loss. My most sincere condolences. What? Is this a joke? Has my husband seen this? Did the maid bring this? Where is she? Interesting. All the pictures are covered up. I, I can't remember. Some fading memory. Disturb the shadows. What if I'm already dead? What if she's dead? Maybe it's not the husband. What if it's me? What if I'm a ghost? The housemaid should be here in her chambers. What is this? I hear voices. She's not alone. I think there's a man in there with her. The door is too thick. I can't make out what they're saying. Hmm. Need to find a way to listen. Okay, let's hold a glass up to the door and see if that works. But maybe... Okay. Ah, oh, the wall. Ah, perfect. Not since the conservatory incident. What about her laudanum consumption? Has it decreased at all? No, but she mustn't have much left. I haven't refilled her decanter in several days. And I've hidden the rest in the cabinet downstairs. Good. And this cabinet is locked. It is. The glass is thick and the lock strong. It is vital that she doesn't find the key. She needs to regain her composure and her health. More letters are arriving. And rumors abound. <gasps> the display cabinet in the parlor. How dare they keep the key from me. I should burst into that room right now, but I will deal with that tomorrow. I think I will have my medicine now. I wonder if I can... Can I go farther or do I have to go back to my room? Let's see. I can. Okay, so maybe I can go downstairs. Feels like it's inside my head. Okay. Still have some medicine in my room. I can go downstairs tomorrow. Alright, fine. So her husband isn't dead. She's not dead because they were talking about her. So the condolences. Maybe a child died? I bet that's it. I bet their child died. And she's completely blocked it out of her memory. And she's just drugged up. Oh. Well, that's interesting now. Sleep is for the sick and the feeble. Interesting. Oh, so now it's like, um... I wonder if this is a dream now. I bet it's a dream. Kind of like a drug haze dream where like everything's fine. Let's see what I don't think that's heart music that she's playing. Okay. The most wistful of melodies, Monsieur Satie, was a true master of melancholy. But right now I'm in the mood for something more cheerful. 
Okay. Um. Hmm. Henry protested at first, but including Lord Sox in the portrait. But if I'm at Winterbourne, then so is he. Or maybe, maybe the cat died and that's what's doing it? Uh. Huh. Like, I'm not sure what else it would be. Something has caused her, like, irreparable grief. Mom and Dad. Um. I bet that's... Oh, that's her grandpa. And... Cousins. A book. Okay, let's see if we can get through this door now. Uh, I hope Henry won't lock himself up in his study when he gets back. Because of his business trips, we barely get any time together lately. Okay, so that's her husband's study. Um, okay, let's try going downstairs then. So many statues. My own personal pantheon. These figures have always been a huge inspiration to me. I just could not bring myself to leave them behind in France when I moved here. The plaque says, Eos, goddess of the dawn. And this one is... Nimosin? Goddess of memory and words. So, dawn, memory. Apollo is the sun, right? Music in the sun. So it's like all things that she loses. Basically. She's covered them up. So that makes sense. She's covered them all up. Which is what we see when she doesn't have her medicine. Grandma went to born. Huh. Okay. I... I feel dizzy. Why was I going downstairs anyway? I'm not sure now. Was I going back to my room? Hmm, she can't get downstairs. I guess we'll get her back to the room. Huh. It's interesting. I don't know what's wrong. I feel so weak. Jeez, it only lasts for, like, a little bit now. And now she's lost everything again. Huh. Maybe we just go to bed then? Jeez. Hmm. Oh, another envelope. So, he said something about more envelopes arriving. If he's not putting them under, and the maid's not putting them under, where are the envelopes coming from? I like the attention to detail that she, like, puffs her dress out to bend down and stuff. Lord Windsor, now. What is this? Deepest condolences. Again. But there's more. I'm aware of the dire situation of the Winterborn family. Rumors about that precious Ming vase, one of the few pieces not yet sold, surviving on your fortune alone. I believe that our union would be nothing but mutually beneficial. This is outrageous. What is all this about? I must find the housemaid. I demand an explanation. Maybe that wasn't her husband. Maybe that was like... Maybe that was a doctor. Maybe that was her doctor talking to the housemaid. 
so maybe her husband did die and so the, that lord was just trying to be like hey like if we get married good stuff let's do that get hitch thing oh there's the glass that I broke did Lord Socks do this? Man, she can't remember anything. I can't hear anything, seems like the room's empty. Well, they're hiding something from me. Whispering in the dark, how dare they? I wonder if I can go to the parlor now. Because I don't have any more laudanum. Is it me or am I see-through? Or is that supposed to be maybe the light shining on me? I don't know. It feels like I'm kind of see-through. I can't stop thinking about that outrageous letter. The Ming's vase. Y you'll see what I think about the Ming vase. Okay, so I'm supposed to go find that vase. Vase, whatever. But if I'm saying it... All uh, proper and snooty, like it's got to be vase. Vase. Is this it? Porcelain vase. Is this the vase he was talking about? Let me let me crack it. I wonder if a thousand tiny pieces will be as uh, valuable as a whole vase. Bitch. <laughs> Gosh, she's a wreck. Um, I wonder if we can go now. I really just want to go to the parlor. I mean, they have it as an option, but they never let me go. They're not going to let me do it, are they? Oh, I finally get to go to the parlor. Armchair. Okay, let's do some exploring here. Faint tick ticking. Bookshelf? Come on. Look around, look around. Books and more books. Here's one and another. Um Let's try without fear of wind and vertigo. I don't recognize this title. Where did this come from? When did this come from? Uh let's try a treaty on clocks. Okay. Uh, let's try the other one. Okay, she doesn't like any of the books. Uh, okay. My medicine should be in the cabinet. But the key is hidden somewhere, I think they said. There it is, hidden at the back among the glasses. But I don't have a key, and I have no idea where the maid is. Well, I'll smash the bloody thing open if I need to. Uh, well, we'll look around first. Shreds. Something that used to be a painting. Did they say they hid the key in the fireplace, maybe? Only well, Ash. This is not the fire I seek. Hmm. Oh, I can smash the glass with this. Yes. This will work. All right. Doing it. Smash it. Gotcha. Whee! Now it's all beautiful again. Okay, let's see what this painting is. Never been too fond of this painting. It's so solemn and joyless. Henry's taste can be so old-fashioned sometimes. Uh, glass inside glass, to be admired from afar and not be touched. What a sad fate. Henry's favorite spot, after his study, of course. Okay. Uh huh. My gramophone. So she loves music. I have so many memories attached to all these records, especially the ones I brought back from my trips abroad with Maman. Who's my mom? Which one shall I play first? Um, 
Let's try three old Viennese dancers. Such a delicate piece. What should I play after this? We'll go through them all. Um, Perigi Okara by Giuseppe Verdi. Isn't it too dreamy? Nothing's happening. Oh, there it is. That is a pretty voice, at least. What should I play after this? Okay, we'll do the last one here. <laughs> yeah, this is fun. This music never gets old. This is fun music. Ah. Uh, simpler times, folks. Simpler times. But this is not the way it happened. My trips with my man, I need to remember. Hmm. Fireplace pokers. Guess I can look at the fireplace again. Uh, a fire to stir. Table clock. Uh, maybe we'll look at the books again and that'll help. We'll see. It's a table clock in the shape of a bust. But it needs winding and the key is missing. Huh. Alright. Okay, let's try these three books now. Uh, far afield a woman cried, I have killed him I loved, and from a jar she poured blood upon the flowers whose petals are whiter than snow, and whose hearts are pure gold. Ooh, I wonder if she killed her husband. What is this? What is this book doing here? Is this a hint that she killed her husband? One of these awfully boring technical books that Henry's dad liked to keep around. Striking as they might look, decorative clocks, such as those embedded with busts or statues, lack precision and reliability. Such models exist an average delay of seven minutes when referred against a classic long case clock. This is of course unacceptable. Well, of course unacceptable. Hmm. So you see this novel so tightly interwoven with sensations suddenly riven by bottomless chasms as if the claim uh, chasms I fucked it up as if the claim to portray uh, vital fullness revealed the void beneath hmm, I'm not familiar with this author Italian sounds very modern That's interesting So I wonder I wonder now what's going on. Like, did she do something to her husband? Did she kill her husband? Because I'm starting to think maybe she did. Ah, oh, there's another way to go. Okay. I didn't see where it says I could go. I just saw a thing and clicked it. it sounds like the servants are taking in the foyer. But I do not need anything from them now. And I should not eavesdrop. It is rude. The foyer... Alright, so if we're not going to go there, is there anywhere else we can go? I'm ready to listen to more music. Okay. Um. Bedroom to the hallway. Stay here. Let's try to the bedroom. Cool, we get some fast travel. Oh, she wants to listen to records again. Okay. Um, wait. Can I read this book now? Uh, I'm not sure. Advice. 
Feels like it shouldn't be there. There's something else missing, but I can't remember what. Hmm. Another book? Okay, let's fast travel back to the parlor. I guess listen to the music again. We'll just do it in reverse this time. Scandalous! What should I play after this? Isn't it too dreamy? Wait, I just figured it out. I figured this out. I need to go back to the hallway. Let me think. There's an order to this. There's an order to listening to this. Okay. Um, okay. I just can't remember if it's in the bedroom or the hallway that tells me the order. It must be here. Let's take a look at this. Our trips with Maman. Okay, Paris, Vienna, New York. Okay. Paris, Vienna, New York. Got it. We got this now. We got it. I'm looking at you, we got this. Okay, so we need to go... Uh... Paris, Vienna, New York. So dreamy. Uh, Vienna. Okay. And now New York. Okay. Now we got this. I'm I'm glad I remembered that there was a thing, because otherwise we would have gotten stuck. Okay. Now let's see what she does. Wait, what do you mean it wasn't the way it happened? What? That has to be it. Wait a minute, wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't look at the dates, did I? Shit. Mm, I'm an idiot, aren't I? Am I an idiot? Ah, son of a bitch. I'm gonna have basically looked at all of them. Okay, Paris was 23. Vienna was 26. 25. Paris, New York, Vienna. God damn it. Paris, New York, Vienna. Uh. Okay. Okay. At this point, I've done like every combination. Sucks. <laughs> I'm a fool. I'm a fool. I'm a loser. Got it now. I guarantee we got it this time. Okay. One song. What on earth was that? Okay, so now we did it right. Surely. But I feel strangely lighthearted. I should lie down, maybe. You wanna sit? Oh, she wants to go back to her room. Okay, so we're, we can progress now. Oh, it's making us walk. We can't fast travel, huh? So I guess they only included the fast travel for the, um, the sake of remembering the parlor thing. 
the, I wonder if this is the day that he died, and that's why she's just like, where could he be? Like, maybe she's trapped in this particular memory. I'm feeling a bit indisposed, but something is not right here. I know. Getting dark. Oh! My hop! Who did this? It's start. They're starting to blend together. The reality and the memory. It's wrong. Okay. And here she is. Yeah. But maybe I can sleep and dream of tomorrow. There's always music tomorrow. Alright. Well. Well, that's not a good way to sleep. Oh, this poor woman. Man, I feel for her. I really do. This sucks. Let's see what this envelope is. Goodness. I need my medicine. Oh, it's empty. So she didn't even read the envelope this time. I have a feeling like maybe we don't make it down the stairs correctly, the way she's kind of hobbling around. Oh, okay. We're fine. It's still here. Drink up. There you go. Where did this come from? Oh, the envelope stayed in her dream. Lord Fitzroy, he's a friend of Henry's, if I remember correctly. Hope this letter finds you well. We shall offer my most profound condolences. What? So daring as to propose an arrangement for a mutual benefit. I dream of holding your hand. Yes, a man can dream. Oh, to walk with you in the lushness of your beauty, your beautiful conservatory. Is this a marriage proposal? Is this real? Why did somebody put opium tincture in my morning tea? This has to be a prank. Nobody in their right mind would dare send something like this. I must find the housemaid. Provided this isn't some lock of hers, she should know who delivered this. I recall I heard her earlier in the foyer. Foyer. One of those. I don't know how fancy people say that word. Usually they just, you know, turn the R into a Y or something. Doesn't look like the maid's here. I heard voices. Somebody's here. Or is that me? That looks like it's me. Found the clock key. Newspaper. The feature in our wedding. Everybody made such a thing out of it. Many were shocked today upon learning of the engagement of the extravagant heiress of the Beauvoisis Jewelry Empire, Mademoiselle Valerie Beauvoisis, to Henry Winterbourne, Lord Winterbourne of Chatham Green. Uh, okay, okay. TLDR. So much stuff. Oh, he may have married her for her money. Then moving to the column. The, okay, okay. He married her for the money, and then he hightailed it. He left her. Oh my goodness. So I don't think he died. I think he just straight up left her. Oh my gosh. Why is she reading this again? Uh...
Okay, okay. Seeing if there's... Okay. Well, we did get the clock key, so maybe we can go wind that one clock. The bust here? This is interesting. This feels a lot longer than the last one. The last stranger. The winding key from the st standing clock should fit here. Perfect, I can wind the clock now. What time shall I set? Oh, I don't know. Um... 12, I guess? I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting. Huh. Okay. So, there's another clue somewhere. Where I gotta figure out a time to set. Hmm. So what clue is that going to be? Is it with the newspaper, since she keeps going to the newspaper? Well, right there is a thing. Three o'clock on that clock. But let's see if there's anything in here. Um, okay, let's try three o'clock. The other ghost looks trapped at 3 o'clock, maybe. So, let's see what happens if we go for 3. Hmm. I wonder if I can set it for... Instead of 3 o'clock, what would 3 p.m. be? Um... Is that 1500? Um, maybe it's not 1500. Um, no, that would be 1500. Okay, so whatever the clue is, it's down here. Ah, there's something in my eye. Hmm. A delay of seven minutes. Okay. Okay, a delay of seven minutes referenced against a long clock. Okay, so that's the key. So if that was at three, so let's try 2.53. Let's just try that. Okay, there we go. It's working again. The mechanism is ticking and the hands are moving. Is that the grandfather clock? It's working too now. Clues everywhere. Clues abound, friends. Clues abound. clock is working again just like I I am sure not sure now when was that I was here browsing the afternoon papers Lord Sox rushed in the clock chimed he ran into the conservatory what had the little rascal done I cannot remember oh no matter it'll come back to me now about that Lord Fitzroy there must be somebody in this house who can tell me what's going on Let's go to the conservatory, then. I don't see a kitty cat anywhere. Oh, there's ghost me again. I just see something move there. No, not quite here, but there's a rustling of leaves somewhere. Hmm. 
Okay, I see that there's there's gonna be another order to something here. There's just gonna be another order to something. I just saw the golden hearts thing. That was something. Um Okay, and I had to look this up because it looks like there's some kind of order to this, and I don't think I would have gotten this order at all. I don't know what the secret would be. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna try this out. So it says, do the the table and chairs. Okay, so we're gonna look. Okay, so now she's she was aimed this way. So it says now to do this. So, I'm trying to see if there's they point at a clue. So, it's maybe where she looks in the end. Is what points us to where we're supposed to go next. So, maybe that's the clue. Because the next point we're supposed to go, I believe, is here? Yes. Let's go here. And now we're supposed to go to the bushes, the top right, or bottom right. Okay, so we're we're supposed to follow the ghost around. There's something here stirring the leaves. Suddenly a blur, a chase, the clinking sound of porcelain. Okay, so, so I'm following something correctly. Um, okay, so the bushes. Okay, I wonder if I screwed it up. <laughs> um, okay, I don't know. Let's try the table and chairs again. Okay, here we go. So it's working, it's working. So maybe I didn't need the bushes. But now she's remembering something. So we did the table and chairs again. Here, a scream of pain. Red streaks. The knuckles like w white snow. Uh, hands so cold. So cold. Okay. So, was she facing this again? Um. No, the pond. Maybe she's like washing blood off of her right there. Oh dear, no. The water is no longer screaming. Then where is the sadness coming from? Okay, she's looking at the bench, so the bench is next. Okay. It is stronger here. What is the sorrow? Why do I feel this way? This place is always so soothing to me. But those sensations, they were so vivid and unsettling. In the water, I could have sworn I felt. Wait, what is that? It seems there's something at the bottom of the pond. Aha! But I am not reaching into that filthy water with my bare hands. I need to find something to help me drag it out. Okay. Now I'm supposed to go grab the umbrella. I'm... Oh, man. This would have taken me forever to figure that puzzle out. Like, I, I felt like maybe there might be some sort of order to it, but I just... I, I'm recording this early in the morning. My brain isn't there yet. We've got to be close to the end of this one, right? I feel like it. We've been on this one forever. We've been recording for like an hour at least, right? What do we... Okay, I'm interested to see what we fish out. Whoa! My lord. My dear lord. I did see blood all over those flowers, which was in that book. Where is everybody? 
I must find help. So what was this? Lord oh, the cat! Oh, her cat's dead. Did she kill her cat? She is losing it. There has to be somebody here. There has to be. Um. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Don't understand. I left this on the table. Am I going mad? But this is not the Paris Soiree. This is the London Evening Standard. Many were shocked today upon learning of the passing of Henry Winterbourne, Lord Winterbourne of Chetham Green, in a tragic automobile accident. Ah, so he did never come home. He is dead. As the car in which he was riding rolled up towards the driveway of Winterbourne Manor, the family cat, which had been missing for days, dashed onto the road in front of the vehicle. The chauffeur gave the driving wheel a sharp turn. No, no, no. Henry, dead? This is absurd. He's here. He's, he's upstairs. I was waiting for him to come out. But he, n he never arrived because he was here the whole time. Of course, how silly of me, that's it. He must be in his study. He'll know what to do. He's in his study, he's upstairs, he'll know. I need to see him. I need to see him now. So she, so that's why she killed her cat in like a fit of rage. Because the cat is the reason her husband's dead. Wow. She has lost her mind. In grief. Okay, let's see if she can get to the study here. Henry, are you there, Henry? Henry? What have they done to you? Jeez. Why did they hide you from me? I've missed you so much, my love. I've been away for a while. But I'm here now. Henry, I did something terrible. It wasn't his fault. He didn't deserve it. But it hurt so much when you left. I had such dreams, such terrible dreams. But I found you now. And I'm never going to let them take you away from me again. I just need one more sip of my medicine. And then I'll come back for you and take you home. We're going to Paris, my love. Holy shit. I'll be right back. Man. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, we gotta get her medicine. She's like fading. She's like almost translucent at this point. Oh my goodness. She's just like disappearing. Fading away. The envelope. Another one of those awful letters. Oh, is this the one with the mask? Yep. No. It's an invitation to a mass ball. How delightful. Did Henry send this? Will he be there? Oh, I hope so. What a surprise that would be. This must be my mask, then. It's so beautiful. Wow. And there she is, dead on the floor. It looks like she OD'd on, uh, on her laudanum. And I was expecting Henry to meet me here, yet I can't seem to find him. 
But he must be here. Who else could have sent that invitation? Oh, hang on. Uh, so we're, we're starting to get into uh, another um, story, and I I wanna I wanna pause here for the next episode before we get into that one. So we'll do a second episode here of this one if on a winter's night for travelers. This is good. This is really good. The writing's fantastic. This must be based on a um, something, a book. Some uh, it, it has to be. Because this writing's fantastic. I really love it. Um, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, do you like this kind of game? I know I, I try not to do too many um, visual novels lately uh, uh, as much talking and stuff like that. Just because it's, uh, it's a lot of you just watching me talk. <laughs> and I don't know if that's super entertaining. But if you do like it, let me know. I, I would love to, to know about that. So... Anyways, um, trying to keep it as interesting as I can, um, but uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts on on the format and this game. Um, there's been some interesting twists and turns, but uh, thank you for watching this. If you did like it, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Know that I love you, and um, enjoy the rest of your Friday, because if you don't, uh, I'm going to send a cat after you to make your world crumble around you. Goodbye. <laughs>